What is the Conference of Berlin in 1878? Berlin Conference of 1878, also known as the Treaty of Berlin and the First Peace Conference. It was an international meeting convened to settle many international disputes after the Franco-Prussian War. The conference was held in Berlin from November 26 to December 23, 1878. The main result of the conference was a general agreement on European peace without annexations or indemnities. The Conference of Berlin in 1878 is one of the most important conferences in history. It is often seen as a milestone for European peace and diplomacy. The conference was attended by the five European powers and Russia. These were Great Britain, France, Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Russia. The United States sent an official delegation led by Alvi Addy. The Ottoman Empire also attended but did not sign the final acts of the conference. Because a European power, France, had imposed restrictions on its diplomats within Europe. The conference put an end to a long period of military conflict in Europe. The United States sent an official delegation led by William McKendry Sears. The conference was held to discuss the crises in Europe, which included Franco-German tensions. The discussion on how to divide Africa started off with a proposal from France that would give them control over Algeria and Morocco. While giving Germany control over Tunisia and Libya. The German delegation, who had just been granted control over Tanzania and Namibia, wanted to make sure that England would not receive any of the colonies taken from Germany. England insisted that they did not need the land because they already controlled Egypt. This is just one example of how the colonial powers bickered over land. The British, French and Germans were all fighting for control of territories in Africa. With the success of the Conference of Berlin, here are some important dates to remember. 1878, Berlin Treaty is a treaty signed at Congress of Berlin that sets out how Europe will be governed in the aftermath of Napoleon Bonaparte's defeat at the Battle of Waterloo. 1889, Paris Peace Conference is a meeting of world leaders that tries to establish peace as World War I winds down. 1927, the Kellogg-Briand Pact, also known as the Paris Peace Pact, is an agreement for the establishment of peace. 1932, the Tsar Protectorate is established in response to the remilitarization of the Tsarland following World War I. 1935, the Second Italo-Abyssinian War, also known as the Second Ethiopian War, is a conflict between Italy and Ethiopia over control of Ethiopia that ends with an Italian victory. 1937, Francisco Franco becomes dictator of Spain. 1939, World War II, Nazi Germany invades Poland. 1942, World War II, the Battle of Stalingrad ends with the total destruction of German forces captured there. 1945, World War II, United States drops an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. 1945, at a conference in Potsdam, on the orders of President Harry S. Truman, the Allies agree to the terms of surrender for the Japanese Empire. The Allies demand Japan's unconditional surrender. 1945, World War II, Germany surrenders and Allied forces accept their unconditional surrender. 1948, Satyagraha Day, Mahatma Gandhi is assassinated in New Delhi, India by Nataram Godse. What happened at the Conference of Berlin in 1878? The Conference of Berlin in 1878 was a conference held by the German Confederation. The conference was attended by representatives from most European countries and it is considered as a turning point in history. The conference is also known for its significant role in ending the Franco-Prussian War, which led to the unification of Germany. The conference also brought about a number of new resolutions. The first resolution was to settle the issue of Alsace-Lorraine in order to prevent France from resuming its rule over that territory. The second resolution was to create a German empire under Kaiser Wilhelm I. Where Germany would have control over itself and the remaining European countries would have control over themselves. Where Germany would have control over itself and the remaining European countries would have control over themselves. The third resolution was to bring about an agreement on the sovereignty and obedience of all states. The conference brought about new resolutions that tried to prevent the unification of Germany. The dual monarchy was a constitutional and political union between the Austrian Empire and the Kingdom of Hungary until 1914. When it dissolved in the course of World War I into a personal union under Austria-Hungary's last king, Charles IV. Karl von Habsburg. 
He is an Austro-Hungarian aristocrat and member of the House of Habsburg-Lorraine. The Kingdom of Croatia-Slavonia was a kingdom in the Kingdom of Hungary between 1848 and 1918, ruled by the House of Habsburg-Lorraine. The crown was officially represented by members of the House of Habsburg-Lorraine. In the 18th century, it has been part of Austria-Hungary and then Austro-Hungary. The Kingdom of Hungary achieved independence from Habsburg Austria in exchange for military support during the Russo-Turkish War in 1877. It survived World War I and the fall of Austria-Hungary. The Treaty of Trianon established Hungary's current borders, separating it from Romania, Serbia, and Ukraine. The Kingdom of Romania was a constitutional monarchy in Central Europe that existed between 1881 and 1947. It had its capital at Bucharest, and was surrounded by the states of Austria-Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, and Poland. World War I was a global war centered in Europe that began on July 28, 1914, and lasted until November 11, 1918. Contemporaneously described as the war to end all wars, more than 70 million military personnel, including 60 million Europeans, were mobilized in one of the largest wars in history. World War II was a global war that involved the vast majority of the world's nations, including all of the great powers. What was the real reason for the Congress of Berlin in 1878? The Congress of Berlin was a conference held in 1878 that was organized to discuss the future of Europe and the African colonies after the Franco-Prussian War. The conference was attended by German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, who wanted to ensure that Germany would be able to continue as a major power in Europe. The Congress of Berlin has been described as the most important diplomatic event since Waterloo. It took place in 1878 and lasted for two weeks. The discussion was about the effects of European politics on power in Europe among other things. The Congress was also considered an important peace conference because it was a way to change the future for Europe. The Congress of Berlin also set up European borders and regulated trade in Europe among other things. There were 14 different countries represented at this conference, including France and Russia. The conference established the free city of Frankfurt as a neutral point for trade in Europe. It also set up rules and regulations for borders and trade among European countries, and it regulated international law. The unification of Germany was a major factor that contributed to the success of this agreement. Without a unified Germany, it would have been very difficult for European nations to agree on anything with Russia and France. The outcome of the Congress of Berlin was that Germany was unified and defeated France, Russia, and Austria-Hungary. Stay tuned for Part 2 of the Conference of Berlin or the Division of Africa in 1878 and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please, thank you.